Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. I am Michael Gerfinkel. In today's video, I would like to discuss the difference between immigration laws and executive actions. There's been a lot of mention and confusion in that we had Obama making immigration executive actions, Trump then deciding he wanted to rescind or cancel Obama's executive actions. And then we have Biden promising that within his first hundred days, he is going to reverse many of Trump's executive actions and have a more lenient policy. But exactly what are executive actions and how do they differ from congressional legislation? Well, first of all, we have that Congress passes immigration laws and the president or executive branch enforces those laws. So executive actions are written statements by the president to direct or instruct the actions of the executive agencies or governmental officials or to set policies for the executive branch to follow. In other words, how to enforce the laws. And how it works is under the U.S. Constitution, all legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in a Congress of the U.S. So Congress has the power and authority to pass laws. It also says among those are that Congress has the power to establish a uniform rule of naturalization. So that's where Congress gets the power to pass laws. The Constitution also says that the president is the commander in chief and shall take care that the laws be faithfully executed. So therefore, Congress passes the law on immigration. And then you have the president along with his executive branch and agencies such as Department of Homeland Security, USCIS, CBP, ICE, along with Department of State and the Department of Justice set about carrying out or enforcing these immigration laws. And the executive actions, along with memoranda and various policy memos and regulations, go about how to enforce the laws that are passed by Congress, whether they will be strictly enforced or not so much. Let's, let me give you an example. Obama brought in DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Basically, what that meant was that these children were out of status, they were deportable or removable. However, by executive action, Obama said, we're going to enforce the law, but we are going to defer or put on the back burner these young people. Although they are deportable, we are not going to deport them yet. So that was the way in which you had the laws of Congress saying that People out of status should be deported, but the president with executive action saying, yeah, that's true, but we're going to put these people on low priority. So we had Obama making many executive actions favorable to immigrants, including DACA and the like. Trump came along and had executive actions making it more restrictive. In fact, uh, where we had some of Obama's policies, such as prosecutorial discretion, where they would not go after everybody, Trump said anybody who is out of status is an enforcement priority. So what we are hoping is that Biden will come up with executive actions that will be more lenient and flexible. In other words, he will not strictly enforce immigration law and go after every single person. But the most important thing is that it is really up to Congress to bring about amnesty. So when we talk about Biden and amnesty, Biden will not be able to do amnesty. That's Congress. And thus far, Congress has not yet acted on uh, the DREAM Act, which would be a pathway to legalization for the DACA recipients. DACA is only a temporary measure. It just defers deportation. It does not grant legalization. It is up to Congress. But that is the basic difference between congressional legislation on immigration and executive action. Congress passes the laws, 
the president enforces them and decides how strictly he will enforce those laws. We will be having a lot of changes in immigration with the coming Biden administration. Uh, what those changes may be, we have to wait and see. That's why I would strongly suggest that you like, share, and most importantly, subscribe and put on alerts because I will constantly keep you updated on these developments, whether it's congressional legislation on immigration or executive actions. I'm Michael Gerfinkel, and this is U.S. Immigration TV.